Hello everyone, this is Carla. Thanks for joining my channel today. I have had a very busy month in May and I have not been on here this much and I have acquired so many things on hauls that I'm gonna break them up. I'm not gonna share them all at once because there are quite a few and I'm really excited about many of them. So what I wanna share with you today is what I received from the last HSN Craft Day on May 3rd. So that's been a while ago. So anyway, the first thing I want to share with you, this is something new that Anna's come up with, and I think it is just amazing. It's called her Kirigami Pop-Up Dies. So let me show you the die. It's in here. And it's got um, three dies with it. It has the square, the round, and the oval. And I have to open this because I have to show you uh, the examples that she shows you on her idea sheet because I have never seen a card like this. I'm going to be honest with you. And I tell you, she just hits it out of the ballpark every time. So here is the die. And this is what you get with it, like I just shared with you. And look what you do with this. Okay, you take like the die and you cut it and it's kind of hard to see on this sheet, but you pull it out. It's like three dimensional. It has little pull things that you can put on there and you just pull that out and uh, your message is going to be underneath there. I just think that's so neat. Now she did design, which I'm glad she did. She also designed these little Karagami scene card toppers. So you can use these cards and the toppers to create the beautiful ideas that he, she has shown you on that idea sheet. So, um, let me see if it tells you. You get 48, wow, 5 by 7 card layers and 72 embellishments. Of course, if you're an Anna Griffin collector like I am, you're going to have lots of extra embellishments if these aren't quite enough for you. But I bet they will be. So, what she does is, oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Let me see how these divide up here. Okay, she's got, um, oh, they're double-sided. Ah, I'm just loving it. I don't know, I may have to look at these a bit. Okay, this would be one side, this would be the other side. And I guess what you could do is, this could be the inside, and then you would take this one and cut your like oval shape out on it on the butterfly side, and that would be your topper. And my guess is you're going to pull that out. And these are your little pools. These are for the little pools and things. And then you can embellish around it, like I said, with anything you've already got in your collection. So this is one. Okay, you can make two like that. Okay, so it looks like she's going to give you enough to make two of each design. Like this would be, I think, the bottom, and that would be your topper to go on top. So, okay, that's one design. Oh, my gosh, look at these. Okay, let's separate these. This would be the one side. Oh, my gosh. I guess this would be your topper because, I mean, that's just beautiful. I don't know. They're just so pretty. You're going to not want to cut them up at all if you're like me. All right, let's go ahead and see what these are. Okay, that's one side. And this would be your other side. So pretty. Oh, so pretty, pretty. Let's see what these are. Oh, my gosh, isn't that pretty? See, I'm not real sure what the... I think the more subtle one... This would be your bottom that you add your um, message on. And this has got to be the one you cut, I would think. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that. Oh, I love this scene. I remember seeing this one. Okay, look at that. I mean, it's just like a picture. And then here is another one on the back. 
that you can, um, yeah, choose the scene you want. And this kind of uh, coordinates with it. Pull it up. And there you've got that under. These are some flowers. And on the other side, the flowers that go with. Again, some flowers. Flowers that go with. Oh, this is cute. This is like a little room. Oh, and look at that. How pretty. More flowers. Okay, one more of that. And these are going to coordinate with that. Yes. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Then we've got these. And we've got this. I'm going to have to go back and watch her presentations on YouTube to see which one she gravitates toward the bottom and which one pulley. I would say that would be the bottom and this would be the one on top. And I could be totally wrong, but that's what I would think by looking at some of her ideas on this sheet. Here's the butterfly. And you have butterflies on the front, and that could be the back, and that could be the top, or vice versa. All right. So, we've got that, and all these little embellishments that go with that. And let's see what else we've got from Anna Griffin. This is her square pop-out card die. Let's see what this looks like. Now, I have been uh, spending a lot of time outside when I could because we have had so much rain here, but I tell you, it is so lush. Everything is so green. The flowers are blooming, and I can't complain. I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We just got back from Colorado, my nephew's wedding. We were there for about a week, and uh, I've never really been to Colorado, and I I was amazed at just how dry it was. I mean, I, you know, I don't know what I was expecting. We did get to see the Rocky Mountain Range, and that was very pretty. But all around, it was just like dry, flat, kind of deserty land. And I, I missed all the green trees and things. So, Colorado's pretty, and the mountains are gorgeous. We really did not go up into the mountain area, so I'm not sure what that area looks like. All right, here is my square pop-out pop dies. So here are all the dies you get. Oh, I love this. I can't wait to use this too. And this is the way it will pop out when you put it together. So, excited about that. Oh, and from uh, Diamond Press, I've been wanting to kind of get into a little more stenciling and maybe using ink pads a little more. So they featured two different sets of your inks. One is Jeweled Summer, and one is Pastel Paradise. So let's open those up. This one, I'm going to need my little paper cutter for that. Let's grab this. And let's just give this a whack. And I was hoping, as if you've watched my uh, videos, oh my goodness, I'm going to like this, that I was hoping to get up to 3,000 subscribers, but I kind of dropped the ball. I'm so sorry. I... I just got so busy, and like I said, trying to work outside when I could when it wasn't raining, and it seemed like, you know, a lot of my friends were having things that were birthdays, graduations, weddings, uh, just going out to lunch or movies. If you haven't seen the new Downton Abbey movie, it is really good, and I'm not going to tell you what it's about. Okay, so we're looking at the Jeweled Summer Ink Pads. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six in this one. And I love this. Look what comes in this kit. You get your little dauber. So here's your little dauber. And for each ink, they've included a little sponge 
So you've got one for each little ink pad. I just think that's wonderful. Looks like we've got, oh, like a lavender, an aqua green, orange, yellow, and a bright pink. So I'm gonna look forward to using those. Like I said, I'm kind of wanting to maybe try a little stenciling or blending of inks. We'll see. And this one I think is a pastel, yes. And again, you get six different ink pads. Looks like you've got like three shades of pink. That's pretty. Kind of a gold and this green. Uh, it's a different green. It's a little bit lighter. And you get this, and this pink, all these pinks are different from that pink. That's a very dark pink. And this is a dark pink, but I don't think it's the same one as that one. And this looks like a blue. And again, you get that dauber with all your little sponges to go on that. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Set these over here. And, oh, this these are, I'm excited about these. These are scrapbook photo frames from Anna Griffin. And she did a um, create event at home this year with scrapbooking as a theme. And she had uh, a lot of new photo frames, but this particular set is from her, I think last year's uh, scrapbooking create at home. And so I purchased these, these are on sale. They were discounted a little bit. And let's see what we've got in here. Okay, so we've got, I think there's like three sets of concentric frames. Let's see what we got. But you know, you don't have to use these for scrapbooking. I think they'd be beautiful on cards, on uh, the front of journals or albums. Okay, here are your basic um, rectangles, I guess. And then you get, oh, this is probably your like, shadow layer maybe maybe that's your shadow layer and then you put all this on there and here are these frames you get three in a set aren't these pretty very intricate and here's another set but i can see these on cards i can see these maybe on christmas pictures sending those on a card very pretty here's the idea sheet let's look at that Oh, I see. So for the basic uh, rectangle, you know, you can just layer up your pictures or things like that. Here's pictures on the decorative frames. Oh, I like the way they've done this one. See, they put uh, like a little sentiment on this one and little flowers to put around the picture one, the larger one. Very good, very good. I like those. Um, then I ordered <clears throat> this, I ordered another set of Handsome Slimline Matte Foil cardstock because um, when I'm making Christmas cards or whatever, there's a lot of good, rich colors in here that I will use for my Slimline cards. I can take this off because I have a nice little container. I keep all my Slimline papers in. Look how vivid and bright those colors are. Here's your bright blue. This is like a charcoal silver. Uh, your bronze, pretty purple, and your red. So I've got all those for my slimline cards. And then I ordered her pack of matte foil cardstock because I have found when I was using these, they are so nice for cutting cards and things and all the colors in here. Let's see, you get 60 of five colors. You get 12 sheets each. So we've got, let's see. Oh, these are different here a little bit. Five colors. So we've got a kind of a 
a light lavender, a light gold, a darker gold, a darker purple, and this is your dark green. So you've got all these bright colors to add to your cards. I'm glad to get that. And then from Crafter's Companion, I don't recall how much this was, but I just thought this had a lot of nice uh, colors in it and different kinds of patterns and it's vellum it's a vellum pad so let me open this up and show you that careful with this it's sticky on there let's open this side you know you're always needing vellum or wishing you had maybe some that is not just the plain but something you can kind of jazz it up a little bit with so I think this will be really nice for that. Okay, so let's see what kind of vellum we have in here. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Okay, we've got this. And looks like there's a couple sheets of each. Oh my, look at this. This is more of the, oh, there's three sheets of each. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? It has a silver foiling. Here's kind of like an aqua with silver stars. This is kind of a pink with gold butterflies. This is kind of a green. Again, it has the silver foiling on it. Pink uh, with gold hearts. Oh, some of these, well, they're gold and silver. So maybe those are too. Let me just check one, see. Okay, these seem to be all gold. But this has gold and silver. And here's kind of your aqua green. And this is silver. Let me see if it has gold. Yeah, it does have a gold one at the end. So some of them are giving you the gold and the silver on the same color. This is kind of that pink. Pretty. And let's see. Yeah, there's a silver with that one. I like the the dots that aren't really perfect. That's pretty. This is silver, two silver, one gold. Let's kind of see that. And this is the end. <laughs> so I just think these are so pretty. You get 24 of those. So there's probably three to each uh, design so anyway that's my haul for this share i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, i'm looking forward to getting back into doing some more videos oh my goodness i've got so many ideas i went to habitat for humanity yesterday and picked up some things to make I've been to some estate sales and picked up a few things. Went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. I've got to share some of those things with you. I've gotten a lot of things from AliExpress I can't wait to share with you. So anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're enjoying your summer as it kicks off in June. And I hope you've um, had a chance to do some fun things this summer and it's a busy time, isn't it, ladies? A very busy time. So, if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you could hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, or if you're a new viewer today, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it very much. So, until next time, bye-bye.